Neighbors in Northfield are keeping an eye out after a black bear was spotted in a neighborhood last night. It's the latest of several bear sightings in Minnesota, including some close to the Twin Cities. As WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell explains, the bear population is moving further south. And there are some important tips to remember if you see one. The most we ever get is deer, fox once in a while. Add black bear to the list of wildlife passing through Lauren Vosapka's Northfield neighborhood. To know that it was this close is a bit, I don't know, it's kind of scary. I mean, those suckers are huge. The bear was spotted twice overnight Friday, digging through garbage cans and bird feeders. I've never ever heard of a bear being in Northfield. Even longtime residents like Dick Otis were surprised. Between 12 and 16,000 black bears live in Minnesota. For the past 20 years, the population has been growing and expanding further south and west, as seen on the sightings map from the DNR. Five years ago, you would very rarely hear about a bear in Hennepin or Ramsey County, and now they're fairly regular, if not residents. John Moriarty is the senior manager of wildlife for Three Rivers Park District. Last week, a mom and her three cubs were spotted in Elm Creek Park Reserve in Maple Grove. Moriarty says it's likely the same bear that's lived in the park since 2020. They're not out there, you know, stalking people or stalking your pets. I mean, the reason they're coming into your yard is you've left a greasy grill sitting out or you're still feeding your dog outside. You know, that. That's not a good practice for any kind of wildlife. He says most bear attacks involve pets, so it's always best to keep them on a leash. Bringing in garbage cans and taking down bird feeders can help move the bear along. If you see a bear, is you stand stand real still and you put your arms up like this. See what I'm doing? Because you, you need to make yourself look real big and scary to the bear. It's, it's not common to see him, so you know, feel fortunate if you do get to see one. In Northfield. I hope he's moved on. <laughs> Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO News. Another reason why bear sightings seem to be on the rise, more people have home security cameras that capture them passing through.